Temple Tough, Behind the Scenes with Temple Football is presented by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University. Last time on Temple Tough. It was the season of giving for the Owls, whose turkey dinner donations and delivery to two shelters helped make Thanksgiving possible for the less fortunate in the city of brotherly love. You know, it's important for us to give back to the community. It's important for our kids to understand how, you know, giving back should be a way of life. Temple took in the incredible atmosphere at West Point before embarking on a record-setting day against the Black Knights of Army. We'll give it to Harris over the right side with running room. There he goes. 20, 15, 10, and he is in for a record sixth rushing touchdown. Granger to Harris. Harris dives and he's in for the touchdown number seven. I never thought that five could happen, so I definitely never thought seven could happen. And Brandon McManus etched his name into Temple history with an extra point, capping a career as an owl that will see him leave with the university's all-time scoring record. Kick is up. Well done. Brandon McManus, the all-time leader with that point after touchdown. Coming in here at Temple, you know, I never, never expected to be able to break, break this record, you know, be able to score and have the career that I've had here at Temple. But, you know, uh, I might have my name etched in Temple's history forever. Looks, throws over the middle. Christopher at the five, dives, yes. touchdown, Temple. What a throw. Great Christopher throw. on a 12-yard catch and run. The Owls have opened up a 10-0 lead. Play action, looking to throw towards the end zone. Touchdown to Marcus Sales, who made a jumping catch. They laid themselves on the tracks for the betterment of our program to take a step forward and move forward. And in the future, I'll always remember that. It's the last week of the regular season in college football. The work that's been put in since spring ball began in April comes to a head for the Temple Owls in what hardly seems like just another season in North Philadelphia. 2012 marked the return to the Big East Conference for Temple and what they've gained from participating in a week-to-week -week grind, unlike any they've experienced in college, will undoubtedly assist the team's growth. But before they look too far ahead, there's a final regular season task at hand, the Syracuse Orange. And that's all the talk at Chodoff Field this week. First step on him, spin off me, over the bag, finish through here. High and tight, keep the ball in every move, tight to your body, set. Go, first step, first step, bang. Oh, hey, hey, don't sit back on that. Not bad, good. Go! Stand right there. Listen. No, you stand right here and you watch me, Britska. I, when you're going like this, you make this move right here. I got to take this hand and chop it down. Right here. Bang! Chop! You're not doing that. Take your opposite hand, I want you to walk through it. Go. Nice and easy. Slow. Slow. Chop. Chop with the opposite hand. Good. There it is right there. Now, that's what I want you to just work on. Chops. 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 Chop. Go! Steve Adazio and his coaching staff are still looking for rewards from the hard work their team has put in at 10th and Diamond. The Owls have four wins, but to get to a fifth against an established Syracuse team would be quite an accomplishment for the newest member of the conference. It's a foggy Black Friday morning at Lincoln Financial Field. But what's clear is how solid a passing game the Orange are bringing to Philadelphia. Quarterback Ryan Nossett has developed into one of the best quarterbacks in the conference, leading Syracuse to a 4-2 record in the Big East. To get a win over this team, the 
Owls will have to have a great performance from their seniors. And what better day than senior day to play well in front of friends and family. They have introduced the players for Temple who are playing in their final game here at Lincoln Financial Field. It is senior day. It's on a beautiful Friday morning, still before the noon hour here in Philadelphia as Temple gets set to kick it off against the Syracuse Orange. Angela believed that with a little help, she could make her flower store succeed, even in a tough economy. We never doubted her for a minute. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. We're better honest. Minds made. Ideas made. Breakthroughs made. Status quos erased by self-starters. Not just showing what they're made of, but what they've made. Often leading the way, always pushing forward. Forever proud of where they come from and where they're going. With Edgar's adjustable rate mortgage on the rise, he believed that finding the right lender could help him save extra money and provide for his family. We believed in Edgar. Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. We're better. Honest. What's better than a pre-owned Toyota? A certified pre-owned Toyota. And at Team Toyota, you won't have any trouble spotting the difference. Browse our inventory of over 200 certified vehicles. Get financing as low as 2.9% for 60 months, a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty, our three-day, 300-mile money-back guarantee, two years of complimentary maintenance, and more. At Team Toyota, you'll never get used, but you will get a great certified premium. Stop in today and you'll be singing. Team Toyota, I'm part of the team. Time he'd be out in this field. If every guy is committed to going as hard as he can go, four quarters worth, not one series, do your job, execute at a high level, and play with tremendous passion and emotion. Don't leave anything in there. I don't know what you're saving it for. You better be able to drag people off this field when this game's over. Save it for nothing. There's nothing to save anything for. Leave it on the field today. And all I challenge everybody is to give all that you got, every ounce that you got, with leadership, with encouragement, and let's go get this team, man. We're going to go get this team. Let's play Temple football. Temple football. football. It's an 11 a.m. kickoff on Black Friday. And with one more regular season opportunity to take the field, both the offense and defense were ready to go. And the kick is away to the north side of the field. It's deep and all the way out across the 25-yard line for Temple. On first down play action, little slip screen to Fitzpatrick. Gets a block, 30, 35, 40, and Jalen out of bounds. First down. Harris over the left side, cuts back and gets inside the 30-yard line. So Montel is picking right up where he left off. And they're going to bring on the field goal unit. From just inside the left hash, Connor Riley puts it down. Kick is away. It's long enough, and the kick is up and good. So we have a 3 0 lead for the Owls. This time on first down, they go on the ground. A fumble. Temple says it has the ball. They're going to rule it that way. Let's see. So far, no indication. A Temple player comes out with the ball. Tyler Matakevich recovered it. And Temple will get it back with 9.31 left here in the first quarter. 
Early in the first quarter, the Owls' defense has already recovered a fumble. And on Syracuse's next possession, it's a Temple senior who takes advantage of his opportunity to make an impact play. Third down and a long four. Here's Nassib looking to his right. Throws a little slip screen over there. And he fumbled. the ball's out. And let's see, Temple has recovered, yes. I believe, yes, at the 26-yard line. And another Syracuse drive ends with a fumble. Let's get it all day. Let's go. Get it going. Keep it going. Ranger keeps. It's wide open at the 35-30. Everybody on Syracuse defense was focused on Montel Harris. First down and goal for the Owls. Back to the 20. Looks, throws over the middle. Christopher at the 5. Dives. Yes. Touchdown, Temple. What a throw. Great Christopher throw. on a 12-yard catch and run. The Owls have opened up a 10-0 lead. But as good a first quarter as it was for the Owls, the second quarter began favoring the Orange with a 75-yard touchdown drive that took only two minutes off the clock. Play action, looking to throw towards the end zone. Touchdown to Marcus Sales, who made a jumping catch. Syracuse now threatening, second and long, they give it. Wow. And here's a big hole to the five and into the end zone for the go-ahead touchdown. He went 18 yards untouched. So the teams will head to their respective locker rooms. We have reached halftime with the score. Syracuse 17, Temple 13. Seniors, this is what you got. You're guaranteed 30 minutes right now, seniors. Do you have more than they do? Do you have more will? Do you have more toughness? Do you have more energy? Do you have more want to than they do? Does everybody understand that? Yes, everybody committed to what we're doing. Yes, everybody willing to fight for two quarters, 30 minutes of football. All right, let's go, man. Bring it up. It's just a one-score game with 30 minutes to play. The Owls threw the first punch, but Syracuse was able to respond in the second quarter. If there's one thing Temple has dealt with in 2012, it's adversity. And teams who are this familiar with difficult situations inevitably learn how to adapt. Granger takes it, back to throw, has time, looks, throws long, he's got CJ on the run and down inside the 10 yard line. 45 yards from Juice Granger to C.J. Hammond. Granger, play action, bootleg, rolling left. Run it, run it, run it. Five, he's got the block, he's in. Touchdown, Juice Granger. Temple has retaken the lead. But what's been the story of much of the season is just how 2012 comes to an end. A young team's inexperience in the fourth quarter that leads to a disappointing defeat and tough ending to the careers of 12 seniors playing their final game at Lincoln Financial Field. It's going to be third and goal from just inside the one-yard line. Nassif under center. Yep. Amin Moore oh, dives, it. and he's in for the touchdown. Right now, Syracuse has a 24-20 lead. Granger looks to the sideline. Granger oh. throws, picked off, and this is going to be run back for a Syracuse touchdown. An easy pick six for Keon Lynn. So Ryan Nassip comes to Philadelphia to play his final regular season collegiate game for Syracuse and leaves for the win, 38-20 over the Temple Owls. In the Huddle is presented by My Philly Lawyer. Go get two first downs. Change the field position. You let that combination off, you gotta go. Left up slot, freeze. Rock it, rock it. Under orange, under orange. Ready? Rock, rock, don't throw. Two, two. They laid themselves on the tracks for the betterment of our program to take a step forward and move forward. And in the future, I'll always remember that from them. And uh, they, were, they, they embraced it. They wanted it. They, they took this thing head on. It was never about that. You know, it was never about anything to do with that. They loved every minute of it. And our players will, will benefit from that greatly as we move forward. Greatly. You know? And you, know, you got you to put your pride down a little bit. You know? We're all competitive. You think, you think that you know, we, we don't want to be in a bowl game right now? I mean, you know, it's all about that for us. That, that, those were our goals. But, but we see a bigger picture here. And we know we're going to be back in a bowl game. And we're going we're gonna to use this to catapult us, and that's what the seniors did for us. In the Huddle has been brought to you by My Philly Lawyer.
looking for someone? This is Wyatt on the wing. Jack's another one. Ha! Penetrates down the lane. Lays it off for Hollis Jefferson. Anthony Lee. He shoots. He scores. He scores. Dean is a unique attorney because he gets what people are going through. He has a way of making you feel like, I know what I'm doing and everything is going to be all right. He is human. He's just not this man in a suit who says, oh, I'm going to be your lawyer and that's the end of it. Well, he was always going to be right there by our side. I'm Dean Weitzman of My Philly Lawyer. We fight for people who can't fight for themselves. My Philly Lawyer, when winning matters most. 2012 will go down as a program-defining year for the Temple Owls. It was a return to Big East play after eight years removed from the conference. And with adjustments to be made and the youngest roster in the league, Temple found itself in a time of transition. But there was no shortage of great moments, authored by some of the oldest to the youngest guys on the team, that the Owls can build on in their quest to one day raise the Big East Championship trophy. Senior Vaughn Carraway helped Temple get its season off to a good start, securing two turnovers in an overwhelming victory over crosstown rival Villanova, the final installment of the Mayor's Cup series. Throws long down the middle of the field, and White has it picked off. Carraway, midfield, down the sidelines, 30, 25, 15, 5, touchdown! Temple with a 41 to 10 win over the Villanova Wildcats here on opening night of the 2012 season. Just weeks later, the defense got another spark. From an unknown, little recruited freshman linebacker, Tyler Matikevich, whose first two weeks in the starting lineup saw him tally 34 tackles, helping his team to a 2-0 start in the Big East with victories over South Florida and Connecticut. After the first game, getting some action out there, it definitely gave me some confidence and stuff. And just the more reps you get, the more confidence starts building and the more comfortable you get with the guys around you. Here we go. Wallace's kickoff is end over end. It's going to be returnable. If you're a male man, you deliver mail. If you're a playmaker, you make plays. It's going to be taken up around the 7 by Matt Brown. He's to the 15, to the 20, 25, 30. 35 breaks open. He is gone. He's at the 40. He's at the 30, 20. 15-10, opening kickoff return for six. Temple's most explosive playmaker delivered the opening kickoff into the end zone against Louisville, cementing the 5'5 Matt Brown as the school's single game record holder for kickoff return yards. I never thought that five could happen, so I definitely never thought seven could happen. But seven was the magic number for Montel Harris, as number eight scored seven times against Army. We'll give it to Harris over the right side with running room. There he goes. To cap an historic 350-yard performance at West Point. 20, 15, 10, and he is in for a record rushing touchdown. He's up to 342 on the day, and Temple has a 55 to 32 lead. See you all day. Hold on, put in work all day, baby. And one more Temple record was eclipsed just a year after it was set. Senior place kicker and punter Brandon McManus overtook his good friend Bernard Pierce as the Owls' all-time leading scorer, with his 325th point finishing a tremendous career in cherry and white. Kick is up. Well done, Brandon McManus, the all-time leader with that point after touchdown. Coming in here at Temple, you know, I never, never expected to be able to break, the, break this record, you know, be able to score and have the career that I've had here at Temple. But, you know, uh, I might have my name etched in Temple's history forever. And there were many signs of what's to come for Temple football in the final weeks of 2012, with the young players getting an opportunity to get on the field and learn what it's going to take to get the Owls to the top of the conference. Pump steps up, throws into the end zone, caught, Fitzpatrick, touchdown! 
Granger takes it back to the 20. Looks, throws over the middle. Christopher at the five. Dives. Yes. Touchdown. Temple. Okay, that'll do it for the 2012 season. Thanks for being with us throughout the Temple football season. Now we can only look forward to 2013. Ask Adazio is presented by Phillies Dining and Entertainment District, Xfinity Live, Philadelphia. My name is Ed McCaney. I'm from Lansdale, Pennsylvania. And I was wondering, Coach Adazio, what do you like to do when you're not coaching? When I'm not coaching, I want to be with my family. That's all I care about. I'm with my, my wife and my kids. And uh, that's, that's, those, are the, uh, those are the times outside of coaching that I enjoy. I don't have any other hobbies. Ask Adazio has been brought to you by Philly's Dining and Entertainment District, Xfinity Live, Philadelphia. Now starting for BW of Langhorn, the all-new 2012 Passat. Be the first to test drive the all-new mid-size 2012 Passat at BW of Langhorn. The most class in its class with dual-zone auto climate control and Bluetooth standard. The power of German engineering and up to 43 miles to the gallon. BW of Langhorn on Business Route 1. Go a few extra yards and save a lot. The human body is an amazing display of coordinated movement. Wouldn't it be nice if healthcare could be well coordinated too? At Independence Blue Cross, we're making it happen. Independence Blue Cross, changing the game. The holidays are here, so run, don't walk to Kelly Sports for great gift ideas and holiday savings. Santa's getting in shape for the holiday season and gathering everything on his list from sports equipment to the latest styles of Russell sweat clothing. Kelly's has it all. We also have licensed pro and college merchandise to complete every sports fan's list because at Kelly's, we supply sports. Come visit us in Westchester or our new location in Harrisburg. Kelly's would like to wish all our loyal customers and friends a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. The Temple Tough Top Play is presented by Kelly Sports. First down at goal for Temple, trying to take the lead. Play action, bootleg, rolling left. Run it, run it, run it. Five, he's got the block, he's in. Touchdown, Juice Granger. Temple has retaken the lead. The Temple Tough Top Play has been brought to you by Kelly Sports. The contributions made to the program by this class of seniors will be well documented. Whether through record performances or sheer leadership, the direction the program is headed in is due in large part to the 2012 class that leaves Temple the second winningest group of seniors in school history. But where there's loss, there's opportunity for those returning to step into new roles. And for a team so young, an off-season to improve may be just what's necessary for Temple to take the next step. Tyler Matikevich, who finished his freshman season with more than 100 tackles, will team with Nate Smith to be the cornerstones of a linebacking core that will lead the Owls' defense for years to come. Offensively, Temple returns all three quarterbacks who saw playing time in 2012 and with new starters to come at running back and wide receiver, it's a chance for the Owls to create a new identity and establish themselves as contenders in a new look conference in 2013. Jared's family didn't have much money, but he believed with smart savings and the right plan, he could go to college. We helped him pass with flying colors. Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, online at betterthanmybank.com. 
Philadelphia's premier Subaru dealer, Glansman Subaru, is celebrating this holiday season with the Subaru Share the Love event. $250 will go to one of five charities with the purchase of any new Subaru at Glansman Subaru. Tis the season with deals like the 2013 Forester 2.5X, only $259 per month, zero down, sign and drive. Check out our entire inventory and sign and drive specials at GetSubaru.com. Buy smart, drive safe during our Subaru Share the Love event. Glansman Subaru, Route 611, Jenkintown. Credit card debt could have gotten the best of Michael and Maria, but they believed they could pick themselves up and get back on track. So did we. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. Online at betterthanmybank.com. The human body makes complicated maneuvers look deceptively simple. Wouldn't it be nice if your health insurance did too? At Independence Blue Cross, we're making it happen. Independence Blue Cross, changing the game. Hi, I'm Tanya Cardoza, head women's basketball coach. Between school, work, and everything else going on in your life, eating right seems almost impossible. Instead of stressing about it, keep it simple. Take five minutes to make sure every meal includes five things. A fruit, a vegetable, a lean protein, a grain, and a source of calcium like dairy. For more great tips like this, visit the IBX Healthy Steps website. Tuesday will start the most difficult, most competitive off-season training program that's ever been done at this university ever. That will start on Tuesday, okay? And we are going to get going for the next season, and it's going to be one rough, competitive, tough deal. That's what's going to happen here. The toughest off-season in Temple history has begun. It'll be months built on self-improvement and discipline, hard work and dedication. The memory of a season without a bowl game will no doubt linger, but it will certainly add fuel to the fire of a team who's gotten used to the feeling of victory. That's what this work is for, to get back that feeling, to return the Owls to the winning ways of the last three seasons, to continue the process of growth and get Temple closer to its ultimate destination, to one day be called a champion of the Big East. Temple Tough, behind the scenes with Temple Football, has been brought to you by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University.